Greetings and welcome to my tutorial how best to search a database. My name is Carla Sewer and I am glad to be sharing this tutorial with you. Let's first define what is a database. In Wong 2016, there is explanation of a database that is provided in terms of it being a collection of information in the form of metadata. And metadata is basically information about information, okay? You can have information about a book, and then within that book there's information as well about things that are in the book. So metadata is, um, a, uh, is a form of this database. In order for a database to allow users to search, it must have a search engine. So databases have search engines, which determines how the search queries will be handled in terms of their results and in terms of the input. So that is what a database is. Now, let's look at some search strategies when it comes to database search strategies, identifying key concepts and terms. There are um, the strategy that I'm looking at is on this side here. So identifying key concepts and terms in terms of what you are going to be searching for. In this tutorial, we're going to be searching for two things, unicorns and mermaids. We're going to, in our search strategy, we select relevant databases and resources. The database that we're going to be using is a library catalog and this library catalog is from the Virgin Islands Public Library System and the Virgin Islands Public Library System has a library catalog for library patrons. Now if you're not a library patron you can access the library catalog and search in there. Now so we've determined our selected database, which is going to be the Virgin Islands Public Library System, which is this right here. And we're going to go up to here and go into the library catalog. Now the Virgin Islands is a territory of the United States. We see the U.S. flag and the Virgin Islands flag here represented. The Virgin Islands was once um, owned by Denmark. So we have in our library system, we have a um, archive collection of Danish National Archives holdings, which is now available. We also have a von Scholten collection, which is um, representative of the Danish um, rule. Von Scholten was the, um, uh, the Danish ruler um, who actually freed the enslaved Africans. So he has a collection within our archives and our libraries and museums. So when we look at search strategies, um, we're looking at this particular database. And combining search terms with Boolean operators is what we're going to be looking at. Um, Boolean logic is one of the strategies we're going to be looking at. Um, run searches in selected resources. So even though we're looking at just this one database, it's good to run your searches in selected resources or different databases, um, depending on what you're looking for. Review and refine your search results. So we're going to look at how we review and refine our search results. So if we got a result of 43 hits, um, how can we review and refine that and kind of weed out the ones that are not relevant to our um, search goal? Okay, so determining the reference interview is important when you're going to help patrons um, best um, searching a database, the best way to search a database. All right, so let's look at the Boolean logic. Now, Wong 2016 explains the Boolean logic expertly. I've read many um, library science material on Boolean logic and I have not found one that really explains it 
um, to the point where you can understand it in terms of the language that's being used. So when we look at Boolean logic, we're looking at three specific terms that are used in our search. And these terms are or, and, and not. And or, and, and not are used in the Boolean logic to help determine and to look at actually how it's how your um what you want searched and what you don't want searched because terms may have similar meanings so that's why um, it's important to have that reference interview and find out what is being asked of you so when we're looking at the boolean um, logic according to wang the explanation of um, the Boolean and, let's start with that, that, and the Boolean or are concepts that the beginning searcher may have trouble keeping straight. So as beginning searchers, this tutorial is a basic tutorial in terms of helping you to um, find the best way, how best to search a database. And using the Boolean logic is one of those ways that you can do so. Um, so the English words and or and and or okay somewhat at odds with the or with with the boolean because in ordinary English usage or implies a choice where to select one item is to exclude the others whereas the boolean logic or expands and includes all of the terms okay an example would be from a restaurant can highlight this difference. On a breakfast menu, one might be offered toast or a muffin or a bagel. From the customer's perspective, the English or means the, a muffin or a bagel, right? From the customer's perspective, um, that's the item from the breakfast bread set. Viewing this menu from the restaurant's perspective, it was used... It has used a boolean or toast or muffin or bagel to create the set breakfast breads. So in our tutorial, we're looking at unicorns and mermaids. We can have a phrase that says, um, uh, um, make believe animals or, or something of that sort. Um, there is... There is a, and I'm going to go to this real quick, because the Boolean logic is set up where you can actually um, use a Venn diagram to represent your Boolean um, for the Boolean operator. Okay, so this beginning of the tutorial is basically like an introduction to how best to search a database. And when we're looking at different strategies, one of them, like I said, is the Boolean logic. And, okay, so let's go to our library database, which is the Virgin Islands Public Library System. And we will click on right here, we see the library catalog. So if we scroll, we can look at the whole entire page of the website of this library and we can see there are um, different areas. So our, our first area in this tutorial, how best to search a database, is by going into a database. And we're going to go into the library catalog. Okay, so let's click and I have something else loading, but it's taking a moment to load. Let's look at our library catalog. So we're in the library catalog now, and you can see that we have the Virgin Islands Public Libraries, and we have a barcode and pin for library patrons who want to request books or want to renew books. We have library hours, what's new, 
the staff policies and mission in the kids zone. So we have a library info on this side. We're going to focus on this side. We're going to use keyword or and browse. We're going to type in our words or phrase. Okay. And we can put animals. Um, we can put make believe animals. Um, make believe animals and we can search all the library all the libraries and we'll do words or phrase so let's do that first and see what we get when we do that we get make ahead cooking mako sharks um, I don't see anything that says mermaids or Unicorns. So we will go back and take a look at putting in keyword. So let's go to keyword and we'll do word or phrase. And we have I Spy Extreme Challenger, a book of picture riddles, and the bilingual book of rhymes. So within these books, this is one of them is in our Spanish collection. There may be make-believe animals within this book. So let's look at this book here. And it's songs and rhymes, stories, finger plays. It's at the Florence Williams Public Library. That's on the island of St. Croix. It's a, in the Spanish collection. And it may have some songs or stories about mermaids or um, make-believe animals. Okay. So let's go back. So we have two of two. We not, we're not sure if they're relevant to our search. So we're going to we'll have to pull the books and see if they meet our criteria. Okay. So let's... Do our Boolean um, search and we'll go to, this is still loading. Okay, so in order for us to move along, we'll go ahead and put in mermaids and we'll do keyword and we'll do words or phrase. And this is what we come up with. We have 31 titles right here, 31 titles. We have Bath Time with Ariel, um, Fish Girl. Okay, that's interesting. Let's look at that one. Um, we can look inside the book. We can look at the catalog record and see what it's about. Fish Girl is a young mermaid living in a boardwalk aquarium, has never interacted with anyone beyond the walls of her tank until a chance encounter with an ordinary girl, Livia. Their growing friendship inspires Fish Girl's longing for freedom, independence, and a life beyond the aquarium tank. Okay, so this seems like it will be interesting. It's a graphic novel. So we have the um, information about this book. Subject term. So you can um, look at subject headings as well. Now, when we look at the Boolean, and it's still not coming up, I have a picture here. So, so we have record four of 31 with this book about mermaids. Um, we have where giants hide, we have dragons. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean, little, The Little Mermaid and the Princess and the Pea. So when we look at um, searching, we can search again if we keep scrolling down or we can go to the page, the next page and see what's on there in terms of our search results, okay? Mouth open story, jump out. Okay, that interesting. We have Little Mermaid, the Mermaid Chair. Okay, uh, okay. So let's look at how we can search. Let's go back and let's go and see if we can use the 
subject and put in um, unicorns as our subject. We're going to keep it at all, keep our subject. We're looking for anything with the subject of unicorns in it, okay? And we're going to search. And we have gotten six titles, okay? Six titles. Let's go to the advanced search where we can do the Boolean logic. Okay, this is a power search. So we're going to put in unicorns and mermaids. And let's see what we get. Unicorns and mermaids. We got one. The dignity of dragons. Collective nouns for magical beasts. Okay. This may or may not be relevant for us. Magical beasts may include dragons, um, which is the title of the book. Um, so it's really not what we wanted in terms of unicorns and mermaids. Let's put or unicorns or mermaids and see what happens with that and we get 44 titles so our boolean logic and gave us less results and our boolean logic or gave us more results so Let's, okay, so our or expands and includes all of the items, okay? So that's why it gave us more results, okay? Let's now shift gears and go to our search, advanced search, and instead of words or phrases, let's put title. We want items that have unicorns or mermaids in the title. And let's do search. And this is what we've gotten. We have eight titles. So we have a little more than six and a less than the 31 that we did with or. Okay, mermaids on parade. That sounds like an interesting one. Let's look at the catalog record. Okay, a young girl participates on Coney Island's Mermaid Parade to celebrate the opening of the ocean during the summer solstice. Okay, so that's uh, mermaids. We, um, we have eight, and then we have a unicorn book here, the Mystery um, Library. And let's look at the catalog record. This book discusses this mythical beast and the roles it has played in legend, religion, and medieval medicine, as well as man's efforts to prove its existence. Now, this is key because this mythical beast can be used as a term to search. So we can copy it. We can go back, go back again, and we can put in our mythical beast as subject and see what we get. Okay, so we have mythology, mythology animals. We can go and look at that. And in this book, let's look at the catalog record, describes the special significance of 16 animals from mythology and folklore from around the world. Interesting, so this could be something that could lead us to mermaids and unicorns as well, okay? Let's go back and see how we can use or subject and we still get our results that we had before. Okay, let's go to our um, simple search and put mythical beasts in and see what happens. Okay. So this is our simple search. We're copying mythical beast in there. Fields, let's look at subject, and we'll search. There are no results, okay? 
Um, let's go into title and put mythical beasts. And we have poetry and career of Lee Po. Okay. So within this book, there is um, a discussion of some sort. Um, of mythical beasts because we put title if we put all fields we get a lot more as you can tell from here because we want all of the fields title author everything we want to exhaust our search as much as we can so we are going to actually um, use all fields. Now on the left hand panel here you can actually see where you have options. The library of your choice, um, the material type, and book is the only thing um, in terms of this database. The subject, we have animals, mythical, dragons, so we can click and we can see there's only one of each of them here. We can also do the publication date where we want a book that's copywritten at a certain time that's older we can use we can do that um, you can also English is the only language um, you can include or exclude books format is, is the only thing there if we click here advanced search you may find that you can put mythical beasts mythical beasts again and you can do you don't show items that have um animals in it okay let's do that and then we click advanced search we come up with unicorns so mythical beasts mythical beast animals okay we come up with unicorns so when we're looking at the best way to search a database, a couple things to keep in mind. It's important to familiarize yourself with the database. So when you reach to a database like this that you see here, it's good to scroll, look at um, the information that's presented to you, Look and see if you find anything that says catalog, because that is where the database is. There's electronic resources. We can click electronic resources, and we can access Virgin Islands law, newspapers, library institution resources, government links, etc. Okay, reference databases. We have EBSCO host login, which is another database that is um, a subscription database. TWU subscribes to EBSCO host, and so does the Virgin Islands Public Library System. So if I click login, I can go to the EBSCO host database, and this is where you'll see, you'll see um, where you can search which is this, this one is more complex than um, this library catalog because like um, the Virgin Islands is small, it's a territory. So as you can see, we have less um, items in our database compared to EBSCO host, which is searching academic search complete. You can choose your databases, okay, you can choose them. Um, Academic Search Complete is the only one that's on, on here. And this is Texas Women's University, actually, um, because EBSCO host is linked to my Texas Women's University, so it's going to come up. The search options, basic, advanced, search history, which is on here. Now, in this one, we have simple search, advanced, okay, which are similar. Find it fast, kids library. We can search in the kids library and the kids library is by subject, subject headings. So these subject headings are what guides your search. Similar to um, what we looked at in the um, EBSCO host, you can do your Boolean phrase as well. 
So if, for example, we put in unicorns or mermaids, just as an example of what we may find, we have 4,966 results. However, are they relevant to our search? Okay, as we scroll down, we can see Unicorn Rescue Society. That's one, but it's not about unicorns, right? We can go and do an advanced search. And we can put not mermaids, unicorns, not mermaids. And we get everything about unicorns, not mermaids. Okay. As you can see, this is way different than our Virgin Islands Public Library catalog. Okay. So I just wanted to show you a, another database. Um, and the complexity of it compared to the one that we um, searched in, which is the Virgin Islands Public Library Systems. And we have um, this library catalog, and there's also the Caribbean Collection. It's not a database. You have to actually go physically into the library to s access that. So um, the only database that we will be using for this tutorial is a library catalog database okay and looking at our search strategies we use the boolean search strategy and the field searching field searching we use the um, subject field and we use the title field so if we want we can go ahead and use author if we want to search an author, um, say Kevin Henke's, and see if he has any written anything on mermaids, we can do a browse and search by author. Okay. And my session has timed out, so I need to log back in. So let's go. Okay, I think I have too many windows open. Let's close this one and that one. And we're going to look at mermaids, not unicorns. And let's do author. Oh, we were going to do Kevin Henke's. Kevin Henke's. Okay, something has happened. Okay. Let's go to our advanced search, which is called a power search. Okay. And in our advanced search, as we discussed before, we can actually, there's different um, field searches that we can do word or phrase author so we're going to do author and we're going to do kevin henke's and we're going to search for anything by kevin henke's that may be about mermaids kittens for so this we have 27 titles in our virgin islands libraries um authored by kevin henke's Okay, birds, bear, all that, all that. And I, I love Kevin Henke's um, as a children's author. So let's go back and let's take out Kevin Henke's and let's put in Gail Gibbons and see if she might have written something about mermaids, alligators and crocodiles, sunken treasure, the planets, the reason for seasons, hurricanes. Okay, that's a, a good one that we are having happening in this season now. Um, 
elephants of Africa, weather forecasting. So we have about 34 titles of Gail Gibbons in our library. Dinosaurs, um, tornadoes, pirates, the scar dinosaurs again, exploring the deep dark sea. This may be um, where we would find some mermaids, maybe. Let's look at the catalog record. Um, it's a, a biology book, underwater exploration. So I don't, it's not going to give us any information on mermaids, unfortunately. However, we can do our advanced search and do title and see if there's any books with the titles mermaids or unicorns okay we have eight titles eight titles mermaids or unicorns i believe in unicorns okay now see what happens when we um put not in there not what happens when we put not we get mermaids not unicorns so our search goes to two titles okay what if we put we switch this unicorns not mermaids what do we get we get six titles. So it seems like there are more books about unicorns than they are about mermaids or maybe uh, vice versa. So when we look at the best way, the, how best to search a database, it's a process of retrieving, which we go back to our screen here and we see Identi how we identified the key concepts and terms, mermaid and unicorn, and we looked at mythical beasts, select relevant databases and resources. We selected the Virgin Islands Library um, catalog, and we also kind of looked at EBSCO hosts to compare them um, in terms of the amount of data that the database have. Um, we combine search terms with Boolean operators and the Boolean operators gave us um, the Boolean operator not we used is also used to make a more restrictive set. So we didn't want mermaids, we wanted just unicorns so we put not between them um, to, you know, signify that difference. Now, Boolean operators can be used in combination. For example, um, if, the, if the librarian is seeking professional resources about reference services for children, he might, she might use the search reference and children or youth. Okay, so you can put and and or in your phrase, in your Boolean phrase. However, this search could be inter erupted by the database in one or two ways, leading to two very different sets of results. Um, so let's try that. Let's try doing that and see what happens. We want unicorns, um, unicorns and and mermaids will do unicorns and mermaids okay um or mythical beasts okay let's spell check that and then let's search Okay, we have um, 13 results. So let's go to our simple search 
and try it with that. And we'll do all fields, mermaids, and unicorns, not mythical beasts. And we get no search results. Let's put in subject. No search results. Let's do advanced. Mermaids and unicorns, not mythical beasts. Okay, let's see what we do with that one. No search results. Let's do subject. Let's change our field to subject. And we get no search results. Mermaids and unicorns. Not mythical beasts. And we get no search results. So it's interesting how when you search the advanced search, you find items that have all these words, the exact phrase, okay, and the unwanted terms. You have any format, any language, any library, title, author. You can don't show. You can click that if you want to as well. So let's go back to home. And let's just put in unicorns in all the fields and see what we get. And we get 29 results. Unicorns, let's put not mermaids. And we have no results. So what I am seeing here that's happening is that our Boolean logic is not happening in this advanced search. So we go and um, let's return to our library catalog. And let's look at words or phrase. So we'll do mermaids or unicorns, not Okay, let's not capitalize mermaids or unicorns, not mythical beasts. And then we want to also include, now we get 31 titles, okay? So when we truncate and we use wildcards, our search is narrowed down, okay? So I'll give you an example really quick. You see we got these searches, um, Imaginary Menagerie, Book of Curious Creatures, Little Mermaid. So we have, we put in our search, mermaids or unicorns, not mythical beasts, okay? So we go back to simple search and we'll put, um, let's go back to our catalog. And we'll go ahead and put in our truncation, okay? Certain databases, you have to do certain things. So with this database, I'm not sure how the truncation um, will, it will accept the, the um, truncation. But what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and say we want a number of um, um, items, five. So I'll go ahead and put mermaids, N5. That will give us, um, locates articles within the term mermaids. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, this is what we get. Mermaids Juvenile Fiction, we have one. Mermaids Pictorial, okay. 
So let's go back. We, we got five that time. Let's put three in and see if we, if we narrow it down to three. No, it's 13. So let's do library catalog and we're going to go to simple search. Okay, let's go back. Okay, here. Let's go to this search and we'll do mermaids and three. Okay, this is what we're finding. We can change our search words. We can browse. We can change our field searching to subject. And we get one, two, three, three. The, the top three are what we got that's a hit. Okay. All right. So when we look at the best way to search a database, there are strategies that you use. And these strategies are important in searching. Okay. So let's review real quick our what is a database. We know from um, our tutorial that a database is a collection of information. We picked um, our database and we went ahead and chose the Virgin Islands Public Library um, System database, which is a free database. Precision and recall in terms of getting all the relevant material is what um, we looked at. And the strategies, field searching, subject headings, Boolean logic. This is the Boolean logic um, information, truncation and wildcard, okay? So when we look at our references page, our resources, this, this is our resources right here, okay? And our resources, we used Wong's pages 413 to 436 and the other articles that are about retrieval um, and qualities of a library website. And in my notes, you will find um, there's an attached note page, note PDF notes, where you can um, follow along with the tutorial in with the notes as well. Okay, so without further ado, if you have any questions, you can always email me and I will let you um, ask questions at that time or you can make comments and let me know what you thought about the tutorial in terms of its relevance to how best to search a database. Thank you very much, and I do hope you all have a rest of a wonderful time. And remember, when you're searching your database, it's always good to be prepared and to know exactly what you're going after. Okay, so it's important to do that, and that reference interview gets that started. It makes it happen. It actually gives you and the user an opportunity to search by beginning to look at what it is you're looking for and why you're looking for it and how best you can find the information. So when we're looking at how best to search a database, always remember the search strategies we went over and these search strategies um, let, lend their air to giving us the best retrievals we can, we, we, we can get. The aim of retrieval is precision and recall, okay? And in terms of our searches, when we get our results, some of the results based on the number of results we get, recall is getting all the relevant material. All the relevant material, meaning all the information we want on mermaids. Did we get all that? How many? And precision is only getting relevant material, okay? 
um, they go hand in hand. There's a site, um, Open Source Connections, which breaks it down in terms of precision and recall because it can be a little bit confusing. Any questions, again, you can email me at csewer at twu.edu. Thank you and do have a great day.